Hey guys, Kent here. Today I'm going to be going over Duolingo. I'm going to be, you know, letting you know what I think, positives and the negatives. So let's get into it. First off, design. To be honest, really love the design. It's uh, simple, slick. And I really like the idea of just the, the skill tree. You're going down, um, slowly working your way through it until yeah, you get down to the bottom and you get your golden tree. It just works well. Same for the website. Um, it's just you, I found it to be really user friendly. So that's cool. The next uh, thing I want to talk about a bit is the gamification. I think they really cleverly include, included a lot of gamification kind of features. First of all, you've got the, uh, you know, finish your tree, get a golden tree. But then secondly, you've got some other things. You've got this fluency thing at the top, which is bad. You've got the daily goals, which you can set yourself. And then if you reach your daily goal, you get a streak and you can uh, keep them going. A lot of people find that motivating. Uh, also, you've got the leaderboard, you follow your friends, and also while you're learning um, new skills, you're learning uh, gem, you know, gems or lingots, and you can use these lingots to buy bonus skills um, and other things. Now, I want to touch a bit on the app uh, and how it differs from the website. So firstly, with the app, you have uh, conversation bots that allow you to kind of practice many uh, conversation simulations um, they vary in topics but they're quite you know real world situations that you'd find yourself in so they're quite useful um, yeah, I'm really happy that Duolingo decided to add these and I hope they keep adding more because um, yeah they're a lot better than just having to do these constant um, dry translation exercises so that's uh, one really cool thing that the app has that the website doesn't Secondly, uh, the app has clubs. Uh, I didn't use these, um, but basically you can join a club um, with various people and make your own club. Um, not for me, but perhaps it's your cup of tea. Give it a go. Next, uh, we've got the website and how it differs. Um, the main uh, thing I, I prefer about the website and why I mainly use the website is uh, the, the, uh, something called the discuss feature. Uh, you'll see down the bottom um, in the green bar that comes up there's uh, an option to press discuss you press that and it will take you to another page where that sentence um, will be discussed uh, people will be asking questions you can you can even ask a question um, but yeah if you're, you're not sure on a sentence or something confuses you you can ask a question you can see if someone's already asked it or yeah, most likely someone's already asked it. That's really cool. Okay. Also, um, you've got the words learned kind of page. You can just, it's a page that shows you all the words that you've come across and learned uh, while you're going through your skill tree. You next, you've got the discussion, um, you know, the discussion tab. And it's just basically, like, it's almost like a forum really. You can ask questions on it. Next up, you have the Duolingo Labs. Um, this is kind of experimental kind of projects. Um, here we've got Duolingo Stories, which is in beta. And this is only available in Spanish and Portuguese. But basically allows you to do those stories. I'll just play it. Sigue las flechas. Sara, estoy preocupada. So I you have idea what it's like. I don't speak Spanish, so uh, yeah, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, but yeah. Next up, I want to touch on the audio. Now, I'm not a fan of the audio in Duolingo. It is text-to-speech. It's just robotic. It's the intonation, the rhythm. And sometimes when I was doing the French course, it was a bit hard to understand um, some of the sentences just because of... The, you know, the nature of text-to-speech so that's something I'm not a huge fan of on uh, Duolingo and something that could be improved but you know the technology is getting better that's for sure
exercises on Duolingo aren't the best in my opinion. It's a lot of translation. I wish there'd be a bit more variation between um, different types, uh, especially not as many translation ones. There could be some more things like the bots have added to the uh, application, but not on the website. So I'm not a huge fan of just translation, 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 so that could be improved. So what are the positives of Duolingo? Firstly, and most importantly, the app is completely free, and that's awesome. Um, nowadays, so many apps have in-app purchases or hidden costs or just your spammed full of ads. There are some ads on Duolingo, but not much. Secondly, lots of languages are available on Duolingo, which is cool. Most of the, um, the, the most popular languages are available, but also there's some constructed or made-up languages, which is... Uh, pretty cool. Thirdly, community. I found the community on uh, Duolingo to be really helpful. Um, you can always ask questions and there's always um, someone there willing to help you out. Lastly, motivating. Um, the, all the gamified features um, kind of make you want to come back and do a little bit every day so you don't ruin your streak and things like that. So that's really cool. However, there are some downsides. Uh, the first downside I'd have to say would be the text-to-speech. It just, don't get me wrong, the technology is good and it's getting better, but it's just still not there and uh, it's just a bit too robotic and sometimes I had a bit of trouble understanding um, certain sentences. Secondly, no offline mode. Where I live, I don't have the best Wi-Fi, so it would be nice to uh, download some skills offline because sometimes it takes a little bit long to load. Thirdly, it's a bit translation heavy. I'd like to see a bit more variation in exercises um, instead of just translating sentence after sentence. And lastly, a lot of the vocab is useless. Um, it's just not practical in everyday use and uh, I don't see myself using a lot of the words that I've learned um, in everyday life. So there you have it guys. Um, thanks for watching. At the end of the day, I think Duolingo is a great thing to start off dabble in a language but that's it for the review guys uh, thanks for watching let me know what you think um, are you a fan of duolingo uh, what don't you like what do you like uh, i'd be interested to hear cheers